Howdy, Practical Patriots and Practical Preppers. Yelkate, gross aus Texas. Hey, folks, Giant Practical Nurse here. Hey, I want to go over something with you uh, while I got a chance. It's a beautiful day out here. I'm trying to get some work done on the farm. Uh, it's turning into spring right now. And uh, Coda Boy 32, somebody I really just think the world of, uh, put out a video and want to know what your response would be if uh, somebody came up to you and said, why do you need an AR? I think his wife kind of presented the question to him and his answer was because I want one. And which I think that's absolutely an awesome answer. If you're a law abiding citizen and you know, it is legal to own, you know, ARs, you know, then why not? You work hard, you know, you go to work, you know, you pay your bills, you pay your taxes. What a treat, right? An AR. Um, now, let me just say this, folks. Let me get this out of the way right now. We as a firearm community, be it AR, AK, SCAR, whatever the case may be, hunting rifle, anything at all, a shotgun user, whatever, we need to stand together, okay, because of uh, some things that are happening right now. There are politicians trying to basically pass state laws. And y'all, I'll be honest with you, I really feel for you guys who live like in California, Illinois. Uh, Rob Ski was talking about it this morning. Um, about how they're trying to pass all these bans. And if you go look at HR 5087 and bam, there you go, YouTube, you're gonna probably block my video or something like that or demonetize it, hey, whatever, okay? Um, if you go look at it, it doesn't just limit ARs. Uh, if you go read it, it actually gets down to semi-automatic anything, be it shotgun or anything. Um, somebody uh, was talking about, uh, Somebody talking, um, boy, I'm going to just go ahead and spit it out. Uh, President Trump has already said he's just going to go ahead and sign off on them uh, banning uh, bump stocks, uh, anything like that. Something, oh gosh, I wish the person who was explaining this to me was here right now. Something about circumventing everything and then we'll, 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 we'll do the due process last. No, that's not how it works. You know, President Trump, I voted for you. Um, I suggest you learn how to do your job. Okay, um, and if you don't, honestly, I'll, I'll sit there and tell you this, folks, and this is a, from a middle-aged American taxpayer. Do not be fooled that any wealthy politician cares about you and I as Joe and Judy, prepper, patriot, whatever the case may be, because they know in 10, 15, 20 years, we'll be retired, okay? Um, so who are they trying to pander to? Which generation? Okay, us? I don't think they really care about us, okay? Us gray-haired wolves or whatever? I don't. I think they're pandering to the generation that's whining. All right, just my personal opinion, y'all. No reflection on anybody else, but there it is. Back to the matter at hand. Uh, he said because he wants one. That's great. If someone came up to me, depending on how they ask, y'all, why do you need an AR? Okay, is how I would answer that question. Let's just pretend. Let's say some hot, sexy prepper grandma came up to me in academy okay, or at any local gun shop and said, why do you need an AR? I'm pretty sure she'd be asking me from the point of she is there also to make a decision about what kind of firearm she wants to pur purchase and if knowing that I have one, what my reasons behind it would be, okay? Let's say that somebody with a sign and Tide Pod drool coming out of their mouth or something like that, you know, can't listen to reason or anything like that. And all right, because good point, you cannot, you cannot rationalize with illogical people, the person that made that comment. Good point. You know, we all know that. You, you can talk yourself to your blue in the face. I would sit there and tell them it's none of their damn business. Sorry. Okay. But that's just the way it is. Now, if they insist, then the answer really does come out to be the same. All right. All right, guys. Those of y'all who know that I love AKs. Uh, know that I deliberately, my, my friends who are close friends who are uh, AR and, uh, fanboys and fangirls, they know this for a fact. They know this about me, and I'll just go ahead and spill it out. I rib on AR users just because it's fun. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's just like sticking a stick in a hornet's nest. And blah, 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 okay, but I love ARs, all right? And let me tell you why. Somebody asked me why I need one. Here's why. Just start with the, just the basics, okay? For one thing, this thing is light, all right? Here's Frankenstein. She's light. She's, well, and I say, okay, guys, even Frankenstein et can be adorable, okay? Just all in the matter of the beauty, okay, of it. All right, you'll find out when you get older. <laughs> She's light. I mean, she is well, this thing's well balanced, all right? By God, you can dress her up anyway, and she still looks good, all right? All right? That's <laughs> just the way I look at ARs. I look at firearms like women, okay? You'll see more, you'll hear more about that later. 
All right, I love how they handle. I love the low recoil. I love the accuracy of it, okay? You can dress this thing up, collapse it down, stick it, you know. These things really are awesome, and they're pretty darn popular, all right? Now, again, folks, as I'm saying, if we are in this community together, we have to stick together, all right? Because if you think they're going to stop with this one, like I said, go read that HR 5087, okay? Because then we're rolling off into this one, all of my AK buddies, okay? You think they're going to stop with this? They're going to move off to this one next, okay? You see my point? We need to stick together on this. Now, let's keep talking about this. Keep that in mind. Why do you need one? All right? John says it's because he wants one. Could have boy 32. All right. And John, if I'm misquoting you or anything, if I misunderstand, please don't hesitate. Correct me on that. All right. Now, let me just show you something real quick to prove a point here. Do y'all recognize this? All of us who are German descent or German should know what this is. This is an 8 millimeter Mauser. Um, 8 millimeter Mauser. Okay. All right. Some of you would sit there and say, wow, practical nurse, that's a nice deer hunting rifle. That's it. Well, guess what? For me, it is, all right? But do you understand that at one time, you know, 60, 70 years ago, what this was? This was a military rifle, okay? Do you understand that? Okay, so this is why I'm worried. They're gonna first start with this, then they're gonna roll on to this, and then the fact that I even mentioned that at one time, oh, even though that I use this right here as a deer rifle, Okay, as a deer rifle, they're gonna roll onto this. You will have libtards, and I'm sorry folks, I'm trying to keep the kibosh on the attitude here, will say that this is not a hunting rifle. <laughs> How much hunting have you done? Come hunt with us here in Texas. This is a hunting rifle, jacktards, okay? We use this for coyotes. We use this for hogs, and some people even use it for the small white-tailed deer that we have around here. Our deer here are not moose. They're small, okay? <laughs> this does work. Coyotes, feral hogs, this works on, okay? Small varmints, predators, this works great on, okay? But, guess what? So does this. You should see me rip some hogs with this thing. They're a destructive species, okay? Feral hogs. This thing is also great for coyotes. It makes a nice big hole and puts him down on the first round. Nice little poem there, wasn't it? Okay, but do you get my point? This is a hunting rifle also. Okay? This is a hunting rifle also. This, out here in Central Texas, is a hunting rifle. This helps take care of predators out here. That's one of the reasons I need them. Okay? The second reason, oh, let me just carry on with reasons without even counting them. All right? And let me start this on the high level and work my down to my home level, okay? You wanna know why? You don't believe that there's corruption out there in the local levels? Read this crud. Can you see this? Isn't that something? I'm not trying to be mean or insultive, okay? But read that. There is corruption in the upper levels, okay? There's that, okay? Then, of all things, I'll show you this. You got stuff like this. Can you read that? This guy tried to hire a hitman to kill his ex-wife and our chief of police. Yeah, not right. That's why I need an AR, okay? There is evil out there, y'all. There are mean people out there who can't wait to take advantage of people you of us who are disarmed. Do you think the government is really afraid of unarmed citizens on both sides of my family through our history half german half apache we were disarmed and what happened very simple okay very simple what happened my native american cousins do not give up your fight those of us who are german descent remember our history do not give up the right to own an ar okay we don't just want one do we no really truly we need one. Let me show you an example. Somebody else the other day came up to me and asked me, why do you need 30 round mags? Is it because I want one? Let me tell you what I learned about being a soldier, y'all, in the military. When you're in a firefight, 
You have every advantage that you could possibly have when it means saving your life. If you think a criminal cares about you having a firearm, they don't. They're counting that you don't. Do you think they care about following the law and them stealing a firearm to come rob you? They don't. If they're carrying a pistol with 10 or 15 rounds, I want 30 rounds. Got it? I don't just want it, I need it. I need that advantage because of my sovereign right to defend myself. I don't care what some congressman in Washington says, or New York, or California, or some representative says in some other state. I have the right to defend myself, and I'm sorry, but that trumps anybody else's feelings that they have to have to feel safe. Okay? Sorry. <laughs> I win. You want to talk about bullets. Let's talk about bullets. Oh, that's a bad bullet. Those ARs have bad bullets. Let me show you a little comparison here, y'all. You saw the AR, you saw the AK, and you saw the 8mm Mauser, okay? Let's do a little comparison here. Ready? All right. AR bullet, 5.56, AK bullet. This particular one, 762 by 39 The hunting rifle that you saw, you want to see its bullet? How about that? See my point here? This is like the Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, for you guys who say it in American. Okay, this is the Arnold Schwarzenegger. A bullet, <laughs> all right? <laughs> yes, I'm saying it correctly, okay? Black Plowman, Schwarzenegger. But this, all right, right here, 5.56, 7.6 by 39, 8 millimeter. All right? You remember what I tell you all about make a big hole? All right. So I'm telling you guys, I'm telling of all of us in the firearm community, if we don't start calling our congressmen, if we don't start calling our uh, representatives and say, hey, I am a voter, and I'm telling you to vote no on H.R. 5087, we're going to be sunk, okay? And I don't want to sit there and say where my mind is going with that. Um, I'll just leave that for you to think about that. Folks, this is really important, okay? Some of you say you want one. I will sit there and tell you that I need one. Why? Because every so many months, I catch somebody out here trying to hotwire a vehicle, trying to take off with some of my livestock. I catch predators out here, yes, two-legged and four-legged out here, and I need an AR. I like having my 30-round mags. I like having the advantage of my ability to defend myself, my family, and my homestead. Something to think about. What is your reasons? Why do you need an AR? Questions, comments, folks, leave them below until I see you all again. I'm Johnny Practical Nurse. I'm proud and American, and I will vote on Tuesday. But one thing I will not vote for, and one kind of person, anybody, anybody, any representative, politician, anybody, who sits there and says, I am going to help propose bans, I'm going to help limit mags, any of those words ever come out of their mouth, vote them out. Their cush job comes to an end. We are Americans. Okay? Questions, comments, leave them below. People, let me know what y'all think. Until I see y'all again, I'm Johnny the Practical Nurse. Out here.